Freestyle later, but the first out to freestyle in this competition, the Renegade. A truck out of the Pacific Northwestern corner of America in the state of Washington, Joshua Patterson, one of the newcomers on the circuit. Now in freestyle, the rules are each truck has 90 seconds. You must fill the clock. If you leave any time on the clock, the judges are going to deduct points. Other than that, they're looking for big moves, big momentum, big noise, everything you want. It's big, big, big when it comes to monster trucks. One thing the judges will do is look for the trucks that really come up with unique moves that others aren't able to do in the competition. And certainly they want a lot of momentum, which Renegade is struggling with right now. Some problems already for Renegade. Now, three judges do the scoring. Each judge can score on a 1 to 10 basis, with 10 being the best will total them up. And that's the total score. So a perfect score will be a score of 30, should any of our drivers in this competition attain that from the judges this evening. Well, Renegade seemed to stall, got the truck refired, backs it up, and nails a nice sky wheel. So, again, Joshua Patterson, a, a new driver, learning the ropes right now. And he still has 40 seconds on the clock to do some things. And he gets good air right there to get up on top of that van stack. Actually, the box truck was there in the middle of it. The van's leading up to it. Did a nice job. But I think they're looking for more big air. That's what he needs to be able to generate to get a good score from the judges. Down to the 20, final 20 seconds of the run, and you can hear the powerful engine underneath the hood, but that's about it. He's going to stop with 15 seconds left on the clock, and that's going to be reflected in the scores for the Renegade because he ends up not completely filling the clock. The judges will deduct for that, and you can see the scores aren't that big. It's a 6, a 4, and a 6, 